Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Yacht World, and we're here in Palm Beach, Florida, aboard the Bertram 35. Now, this boat is the next evolution of Bertram's 31, which was created back in 1960 when Dick Bertram started the company pretty much based on a deep V bottom for racing. The company evolved over many years and it drew on the popularity of the Bertram because they built thousands of those, many of which are still restored today, to create the 35. So back in about 2016, they decided to add a little to the length, about four feet, and add about a foot and a half to the beam. So that opened up a lot of possibilities for comfort, for today's boating style, and for a lot of technology. So the thing that was that was very iconic or classic about the 31 Bertram was its disproportionate size of the cockpit. It was all about fishing back here, open space, and a lot of people liked having the sun decks here, the sun pads, above the diesel engines. Now it was originally gasoline engines, but now they use cat diesels in this, the 7.1 which makes it a great cruising boat at about 38 miles per hour or so. It's added the comforts of that and also kind of more of the social aspect of boating, but you still have a very vast cockpit here to work from with storage for rods, fishing accessories, fish boxes, a huge live well, and a back dive door here to starboard, which makes it easy to pull in fish or people. You'll see that the accesses to the bridge are also bigger and more comfortable than the 31 was. And you just have this beaminess that gives this boat a lot of flexibility for socializing, to add some folding chairs, or to be used strictly for fishing. There are a lot more features and changes in the boat in the salon, so let's go there next. Well, here in the salon is where we can really feel the difference of the 12 foot 6 beam. The 31 had a cozy little uh, cabin and salon, but this one opens up for a full size galley with a cooktop, your electrical panel access here, lots of storage, your uh, microwave, refrigerator, drawer, sink, so you have everything you need in the galley, as well as dining area and seating for six or seven people easily. The most notable thing about the rearrangement of the interior is this full-size head. That was a problem with the 31 as to where people put it and where they rearranged it when they did renovations, but the 35 really has solved that problem completely because this is a very roomy head and gives you all the comfort that you need as well as a sliding glass door that gives you that entrance and still the open feeling as you look out to the cockpit. There's lots of storage here in the drawers and even above there's storage that can be used for rods, for kites or you know just general storage, LED lighting. So you've got all the accoutrements here for a comfortable salon including full air conditioning that is hidden very nicely behind all this teak cabinetry. The berth is much bigger and much more comfortable. You could actually do this for an easy overnight with another TV, hanging storage, and again, access to the head. You'll note that this boat has an option of teak and holly floors. The standard is an acrylic, but this gives this boat, which is hull number five, a really rich feel. And you'll also note that the windows have been modernized. There are very strong supports, wrap around, so good visibility and natural light for here in the cabin. This dining table can also retract with an extra cushion be become an additional berth. So this could be a really comfortable weekend boat if you wanted to make that, or a very easy day boat with all the electronics and all the comforts that you need. We'll see that there are some other changes made up in the flybridge and we'll go there next much easier access up here to the flybridge on this model and you'll see that this flybridge is very open in the bertram 31 it was a tight space it was really meant just for the captain but now 
people want to be social when they boat. So now we've got three pompanet chairs here, which are standard on this boat. A very clean dash because you've got storage under this hatch. You've got your switches and bow thruster under that hatch. A beautiful carbon fiber dash with Simrad screens and your Caterpillar screen as well. This helm pod is real wood. You can also get faux. But this look still feels like the old Bertram, but with a lot more space. This boat does not have a hard top. It is possible to have a hard top and even another bench in the back for more passengers. But this one has the railing and rod holders. Bertram has come full circle from its beginnings in the 60s and the iconic 31 Bertram to today's 35 Bertram. Thanks for joining us here on Yacht World.